Good morning, Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Lexa Sabata. I'm Gabriel Strovey, and, and welcome, welcome to, to our 2021, 2021 Halloween broadcast. broadcast. This broadcast will feature many festive and spooky Halloween-related topics. But before that, let's take a look at the forecast for the rest of the week and the current forecast for Halloween night. Today, Friday, we'll have a high of 48 and a low of 44. Tomorrow, Saturday, we'll have a high of 83 and a low of 47. Finally, Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 47. Our first story brought to you by Levi and Jackie includes real paranormal experiences from Las Cruces citizens and La Posta staff about their ghost encounters in Mesilla. We are here at the historic Mesilla Plaza where many come to witness the historic sights and beautiful atmosphere. But some visitors come to get a chance to witness paranormal activities and sightings. We spoke with a few employees at La Posta to hear about their personal experiences with paranormal activity working here over the years. I have at times where I feel like there is some something present, you know, I've walked through I've walked through the restaurant and sometimes there will be things that will be there one moment and it's not there the next. So, I mean, I, I believe that, you know, there is a presence here at the restaurant. You know, I've had people where they've seen things go through the wall here. Or I've seen like, we've seen like a white ghost go through the walls here. Um, I personally have never seen it, but I have heard stories of people that have actually um, seen that as from a distance. Um, who knows what it could be or who it could be, um, but I have heard people that have said that they have seen things here before. Maybe about five years ago, I was in this back room with the bar area. There's a big window, and excuse me, it's a big mirror back there. And you know, I was just adjusting my shirt day and I saw somebody walk by and I thought it was one of the bus boys I thought it was somebody who was here early because I'm the only one here in the morning by myself you know so I figured I'd go check who it was so I went to the back room and there was actually nobody and I know I saw somebody but there was when I went to the back room there was actually nobody so just for the simple fact the building is over 150 years old, there's been many people have been through here over the years and I'm sure there's been quite some, you know, st stuff that's like residual type stuff that still hangs around after people have gone, so. There used to be a tree on the corner of this building and they have since uh, cut it down many years ago, but way back when I used to hear stories that the way you used to deal justice back then, you know, by people that, robbed, stole, killed, or anything, used to hang them on this tree. And it's called the hanging tree. And it used to be on the corner right here in the postal. Other than that, that's probably one of the main stories that people have actually been killed on, on site. So other than that, you know, that's pretty much it. It was fascinating to hear the different stories people had. Well, that about wraps up our story for today. For Bulldog Broadcast, I'm Levi Montoya. So Alexis, what do you think? Do you believe in ghosts? Gabriel. Anyways, our next. Never mind. Uh, it must be the ghost from La Posta making their appearance. Right. Our next thing we have prepared is a friendly Halloween baking contest. Let's see what's cooking with Jamie, Javi, JP, and Jesus. Today we'll be baking some spooky treats for you. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Right. Let me start the timer. Are we doing it like this right here? Yep. Just put it in. Just Can we bring the camera in? I'm going to do this. There's the... I'll get that. Can you... That's cool. We're doing it like this. I'll it. It's two teams of four. Two teams of four. Two teams of two. We have eight minutes to prepare and eight minutes to decorate. It will be then. It will then be judged. Hold on, hold on. Uh, just a little. Okay, mix it. Not too hard. Alright. 
What's up guys, I'm Jacqueline. I'm Olivia. And I'm Gia. And today we're gonna be rating their desserts on taste, creativity, and overall presentation. Let's get started. So first we have Javi and Jamie's dessert, which is this. It looks like a mud pie. It's really good, I really like the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Oreo crumbs. It looks like someone's berry, which is nice. But very spooky. Okay. Yeah, so we got some pudding in there. It's all the chocolate pudding in there. I like it. It's good. Thank you. But it does taste like brown batter. Or like. I can taste the pudding. Yeah. It's a little messy. I've got I've Ooh, got a lot of there's a lot of um Oreo crumbs on the table. But honestly, on my plate. It's really I would eat this. And yeah. it looks cool too. I think taste, I give it a seven. I think it's thick. Appearance, I give that a nine. A nine? A ten. Okay. <laughs> and then creativity. I think I give that a ten. Ah, good. What do you rate it? Um, I would really like, I would say an A, just because like, it's like, a, it's like really smooth, but then like, the like, I think the like sprinkles kind of like mix that differently. And the creativity, yes, definitely 10 out of 10. Um, what is it? Appearance. Appearance. Yeah, I'd definitely say appearance 10 out of 10. Um, for taste, I give you guys a 6 out of 10. It's a little thick. And very messy, so you did got docked some points for the messiness. Well, we could turn it into a soup. That would be better. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> for creativity, I give it a 10. I think it's a really good idea. I liked the Oreo. I think that was a great touch. And then for appearance, I'd give you guys a 9. Really, the only thing I'm docking you off for points is how messy. Well, this was a Halloween dessert, and Halloween this is messy. messy. Yeah. And you know, I'm just not into messy. And you did incorporate the disagree. Halloween colors. So overall, yeah. have everything. Overall. Overall, overall. I'm a nine. Yeah. Overall nine. Overall a nine. Overall, nine. And now we're on to Jesus and Jacob's dessert. Wow. So this is a red velvet cake with white icing and strawberry jam. Oh, okay. Now time, I'm a little scared for the strawberry the jelly jam. I am a very harsh judge when it comes to red velvet oh. cake. I find myself very near and dear to this cake. The strawberry but jam kind of does not taste bad. <laughs> I think the strawberry jam ruins it. I so, quite enjoy oh it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really like the detail with it on the, like dripping on the side. And I do like the syringe. Yeah. Did you get like a gigantic syringe? Yeah. That was a great question. Huh? Yeah. Where, Where did, did you, you get, get that? Like, a gigantic syringe? Halloween secret. Oh, okay. Oh, that's terrifying. So for the ratings, I think I'd give taste an eight out of ten. I'd give creativity a nine out of ten. Overall appearance, I think I'd give that an eight out of ten. I would give this cake taste a 10 out of 10. I, for appearance, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Overall appearance, I would say a 9 out of 10. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with the cake. <laughs> thank you and good night. <laughs> good night, everyone. Thank, thank you for joining our Halloween 2021 broadcast. I hope you enjoyed your time. Um, we have to go now, but Bulldog Broadcast would like to wish you. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Olivia. And I'm Gia. We know this year has been different for everyone, but make sure this Halloween you use the same precautions as previous years. Check your candy for any signs of being tampered with or if it has been opened. Also make sure to check your candy for your younger siblings. Dangerous or deadly items have been found in candy in the past, so be careful, dogs. Also, we know you guys are going to want to go out this Halloween. So make sure you don't get in the car with anyone who is intoxicated, or do not drive intoxicated. Getting in trouble is not worth your life. Happy Halloween! For Bulldog Broadcast, I'm Olivia. And I'm Gia. Be safe this Halloween, dogs.